moving on, we've got the, the Metro now, and the Brit Awards were made gender neutral after Sam Smith, the singer, complained that non binary artists such as themselves were excluded. Now, them and they are complaining that the gender neutral awards didn't feature enough women. I'm starting to think that there's no way to make these pronoun people happy. Oh, Paul. this is madness, isn't it? In 100 years, actually, they're going to they're going to teach this as an example of when the progressive turkeys started voting for Christmas. Because <laughs> Sam Smith, this is the story, Sam Smith thinks it's a shame there are no women nominated for Best Artist at this year's Brit Awards. The non-binary um, songwriter was one of the first musicians to call for the abolishment of gender categories, and this resulted, as we all know, in the Brits taking action last year. So it was the first time that they, there were n no gender awards last year. In fact, actually, I think it became uh, Artist of the Year, which I believe yeah. Adele won last year. Yeah. Um, but this was, this was last year they were voting in, in genders and then they just called the award something else. This year's the first time it's no gender and they're voting. It turns out that everyone's voting for their favourite man. Yeah. Essentially. And... This was always going to happen. The trouble is, if you Why? don't have two... Are you saying men are better? Not because men are better, Leo. I'm not saying that. We know the answer. Um, I'm not saying that, but we, what I am saying is, if you take away all categories, you're just going to vote for your favourite. And if you're... You know, most people's... If you think your first five favourite artists now, most of them, historically, are going to be men. And, yeah. and, and it discriminates against women straight away. Yeah. Again. Well, it? it does seem to be impossible to make. I mean, we've seen Owen Jones, Sam Smith, these people come out and say they, they demanded a non-binary uh, Brit Awards and then they were given a non-binary yeah. Brit Awards and they were like, oh, there's not, there's not enough women in it. It's like, well, the, then we'll have binary sections and then we're back to where, I mean, what is going to make them happy? No, well, nothing. Mm. That's why they right. are they there and whatever. 12 of 71 artists eligible for the award were female. So, of course, then just statistically, that's the way it's going to work out. Yeah. And then he, he, she, they, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't agree with it as, as an ideology. I think it's ridiculous. You don't uh, think this, Sam this Smith is a, is a beautiful... Non-binary... No, yeah. what, what is they, them? How I mean, can you, if it could be quantified in any actual way... Which it can't. Yeah. yeah, I made this brilliant interview in the Stonewall podcast, and then this person, this they them was like, "Okay, we'll define it for us." Just couldn't do it. Yeah. Like you're a they them, and you can't even do it. <laughs> yeah. How are we meant to define it? Yeah. Anyway, the point well, is, Sam Smith's pronouns Sam should should be darts and player. Yeah. Or Sh pie. Should and be mash. tri keto. Yeah. He looks uh, like he's going to take on giant haystacks oh in a wrestling God. match. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, that's interesting outfits. Look, when I, but that's fine. That's, that's music. When he says here, they say here, when I was young, if I'd seen more queer people at these awards, it would have lit my heart. Excuse me. Yeah, what, George what Michael, Michael at? Boy George, <laughs> Elton John, Coolio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy, easy. easy. <laughs> I mean, this Liam is. Liam Gallagher. Yeah, the Gallagher brothers, both of them, all of Blur. I mean, come yeah. on, man. How many more gay people do you need? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't exactly, you know, some sort of coal miners award yeah. ceremony. Is anybody out there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, absolutely. And by the way, using the word queer is uh, offensive to a lot of homosexual people. Well, there seems to be a way that uh, ostensibly straight people can come and steal some uh, some privilege points, some oppression points from, from the LGBTQ community. Yeah. Uh, so you, the, you, know, you see it in comedy. I mean, comedians like Sophie Hagen, uh, she says she's never had yeah, a yeah. same-sex experience but identifies yeah. as ne queer. Never kissed a girl, yeah. but, I want, but I'm queer. Yeah, yeah, and it seems, I mean, at least... At least do something. You, yeah. You've got to put in, put in some groundwork before you start, you know, getting on that acronym. Absolutely. Yeah, you've got if, to... uh, if not kissing a girl makes you queer, I could be queer. <laughs>